Nexus, Nexians, Nexers. Um, <clears throat> I had actually made a Winter Forge tutorial prior to this, but uh, it was too long and uh, I was driven to near madness trying to split it properly to put it on YouTube. So this time I'm kind of timing it. I have my mobile phone next to me and um, hopefully it, I will do this right. Um, before I start, all credit goes to Lady Fainan. She is the creator of this mod. Uh, she's the prophet, and I am not but a servant uh, and a messenger. And having said that, uh, I think I should get started. I don't know how helpful this will be to anyone, but um, I'll do my best. Uh, and if but one person is helped by this, then uh, I'll be grateful, and it will not have been in vain. Yeah, so, um, before we get to the Enchantment Hotel, I think we should maybe use the Anvil. The Winter Forge consists of, uh, basically two things. The Enchantment Hotel and the Anvil. And the Anvil is kind of easier to use, I'll get to that first. So, um, the Winter Forge allows you to basically mold almost anything into anything. Any uh, weapon, be it a, anywhere from a staff to a dagger to a... Uh, for example, this... Uh, what's happening here? This mall, which is a darkspawn spawn style uh, mall, it used to be something else. Uh, it used to be a two-handed sword. You can basically change anything to anything. It's um, that's the way it works with the Winter Forge. So, uh, having said that, I'll show you the basics of the anvil. Uh, I stole Alistair's equipment, um, and you'll get a pop-up place an item on the anvil. So, the first thing you might want to do is learn how to transform weapons, armor, and items to other things, and that's what we're going to do here. So, yes. Let's start with a piece of armor. Let's start with Alistair's rather boring uh, splint mail. Uh, yes, here it is. Gray iron splint mail. We're putting it on the anvil. So, and now we have it on the anvil. Uh, now what we want to do, let's say we want to transform it into heavy armor, because uh, splint mail is a medium armor. What we do is we go back. Now more options are available. We have grab the item placed on the anvil, craft a new object, Mind you, I'm not going to explain every single detail because time constraints and I just don't have the patience. But what you want to do now, and this is the most important stuff, is refashion the item placed on the anvil, which would be the uh, piece of armor, the splint nail. Extras. Extras. Now, there are no magical properties, but we could allow for ruin slots on if we wanted to. That's an option. You just click on it, then you have ruin slots up to three. Um, you can, making the object part of a set is a bit more complicated. Maybe I'll do a separate tutorial on that some other time. Uh, wipe away magical app. What we want is transform that item model into another. Now, proceed. So we get a whole slew of possibilities, and we want number five. Let's say we want massive armor. What kind of armor should we have? Well, let's turn the splint mail into a Ferelden ranking officer armor. Click on it, and it's finished. And it'll automatically put it back in your invent uh, inventory. So, let's go back, and normally the new armor is highlighted, so 
I'm, this is my personal, this is my Doom Guard armor I'm wearing now, but anyway. Uh, you can see, if you look in the icon, that the splint mail has now become a kind of plate mail. And we can test it, you see? This is Ranking, Ferelden, this is the armor by the way, this is Loghain style armor. Uh, you can see that it's changed. I didn't show the previous uh, bit because, well, you know what split mail looks like. Anyway, um, you see that's how you would do transform uh, armor, or any item really. Uh, let's do it with a weapon. So this time I'll show before and after fix, as it were. Um, Ah, Oathkeeper. Well, Oathkeeper is a good example. So it is a kind of Orlesian, I guess this would be described as an Orlesian style weapon. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, so that's that. It's got a bunch of magical enchantments. Uh, so this is a perfect opportunity to show you wipe away enchantments. So, right, the first thing we're right. going to do is put Oathkeeper on the anvil. How am I doing with time here? Ugh, it's horrible that I have to monitor myself this way. Um, yes, so... That is Oathkeeper. We put it on the anvil. And I'm running out of time, and so I will have to pause and get back to you in a second.